Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in July, I posted a video showing you some things you could do after purchasing a new Windows laptop to make sure your laptop is properly set up from the get-go. Now that video will be linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like more info, but just a quick video, kind of like a follow-up to that previous one, to show you some things you can do to remove so-called distractions when using Windows 11, which just should to some extent or the other get rid of some key um, annoyances and this is by no means a comprehensive list but just some uh, kind of main distractions that are thought would be useful and um, just to make your user experience a little bit better now in no particular order the first is to disable let's finish setting up your pc prompt and what this is all about is it's a pop-up that shows up at random intervals and in the actual pop-up itself, the prompt, there's no button to disable it. You can only click on remind me later, which obviously reminds you later at another random time. So this is something I turn off from the get-go um, on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. But in Windows 11, to get to turning off the setting, we just head to our settings, head over to the system page and click on notifications. And by the way, just on a side note, if there are any apps you don't want to receive notifications from, you can turn those off individually. And for the setting we want to turn off, we head right down to the bottom, click on additional settings, and the one in the middle, suggest ways to get the most out of Windows and finish setting up this device, make sure that's off. I like to turn all of these off. Um, but for in this case, if you just want to get rid of those um prompts to finish setting up your PC, just turn the middle one off. Then the next one is to turn off lock screen ads. Now this will only work when you are showing a slideshow or a picture. So once again we head back to the settings, personalization, lock screen, and if you are using Windows Spotlight, this won't work, but you can if you are using Windows uh, sorry if you're using picture or slideshow you can toggle off, get fun facts, tips, tricks, and more on your lock screen. And, and that'll just get rid of those, those so-called distractions and ads on the lock screen. And then widgets, obviously, if you're using any of these features, you don't have to dis disable them. But if you're not using the widgets and just find this a distraction, like I do know a lot of users do, then once again for this, you just head back into your settings, personalization, you can also just right click on your taskbar, but head to taskbar and yeah, you'll see widgets and you can pop those off. So that just gives you a bit more, uh, less distraction in that bottom left hand corner of your taskbar. And then sticking with the taskbar, if you don't like these search highlights, this little animation here to the right hand side of the search box. And if you click on that, it just displays all of this image of the day and so on. Then once again, we head back into our settings head over to privacy and security and click on search permissions and yeah you'll see under more settings show search highlights just toggle that off and there we go and you can see when we click on that um, we've still got the little picture but that animation has been removed and there we go once we click again so you might have to click a couple of times we can see now it's got quick searches and top apps and all that image of the day has been removed. And then it goes without saying, if you have any apps that you don't want to start up when your device boots, then I would suggest just heading back to apps and start up. And you can disable any app that you don't want to start up with your PC. Yeah, you can see a couple I've disabled. I don't want my Intel Graphics Command Center starting up. Um, I don't want Microsoft Edge starting up. So you get the idea. I don't want my PC manager starting in the background. So if there's any app that's distracting you and every time you boot up your system, it's showing up on your desktop, then just head into here and disable that. And that's just a couple of things, guys. As mentioned, this is not a comprehensive list. Um, let me know in the comments if there's any, any other major key areas you guys um, like to maybe turn off when it comes to getting rid of annoyances and distractions in Windows 11. And that's just a couple of things you can do to make your so-called user experience in the OS a little bit less distracting. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.